Merry Christmas, everyone. This is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Sun's about to go down in the in the community area, and I I've been seeing lots of people doing what I made in 2017 videos, including Barb makes things. Uh, she had made so many things she had to split it into two. So I thought I'd do a little server recap video of the things that uh, I built uh, in. 2017 and uh, in the in the community area here we got a couple things right off the bat obviously the Christmas tree woo um, I think I pointed this out Barb made things went and added uh, end rods which make really nice little icicles to go along with the metal bars pretty cool melted some of the snow down here but you know whatever uh, so yeah so we have that and it's not going to be in chronological order. Oh, the doctor's here. Um, another thing, I didn't build this, but uh, this is the crash space building here on the server. Hi, Sparkles. Sparkles was on the table. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, yeah. Okay. Sparkles needs to go that way. I do love... The gift boxes at Christmas time. Hi, pardon me. So yeah, we already looked at all this. This is cool. Oh, let's see what's in the shower. Still lots of stuff. Okay, very cool. Oh no, that's the shed, not the back door. All right. So uh, I did build this building, however, the library. I, I this is really cool. I like this. I think it's I think it's kind of a great little building. Barb made her rainbow beacon as well. She has a video on that, uh, which is pretty cool. Shh. So the library, place to put books. So we have good, exciting books here. Well, Bane of Arthropods three not so exciting, but Infinity is not bad. Protection four, breaking three, power, power. You know good stuff and then we have miscellaneous stuff here um, and then donations oops hey yeah I'm carrying some stuff in my pocket I don't know why but yes I built this I I'm I like this so let's go back home and show you actually let's do it this way ow uh, there we go up in the air one more boost thank you so this is another thing that I built this year well what's that chorus plant doing there I don't know uh, my elytra pad my elytra landing spot this is super helpful because it makes it super easy to see from a distance when you're flying from far away it makes it easy to spot Oh, that's where I go. <laughs> I think it's cool. Super easy. Nothing complicated at all. Uh, Barb was trying to grow some purper, and I have a feeling this is her doing. And she must have not noticed that I already had some end stone out here. Hi, flower. Uh, some end stone out here in order to do this very thing. I'll have to point that out to her. All right. So let's go to the next thing. So I didn't build the little guardian, uh, not guardian, nether, nether fortress farm here. My wither skeleton farm. Hey, 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 ow, you can die. Uh, but I upgraded it with the white floor. I think that's a, wait, stop it. Jeez. I ate out on hard mode. They hit like 100% of the time. It's not even funny. There's like zero chance that they'll miss. Okay. I don't have any fire resist on. So let me be careful here. Oh, uh, let's aim a little better. Whoa. There we go. Hi, guys. When you give me your head, please. Where's your Christmas spirit? Okay. 
So I added the white concrete floor. Not much of an upgrade, but it does make things easier to see at a distance, which is kind of kind of helpful. And welcome to the Guardian Farm. I made this and haven't even turned the whole thing on. And now, <laughs> when 1.14 comes out, uh, I don't think 1.13 is going to affect it. But the fence gates with the water is going to become an issue, so I don't know exactly how this is going to be affected. But uh, I will have to make some changes in order to keep this working. So I should probably spend a little time AFK in here before the release comes out. But we have so much stuff, it's not even funny. I mean, crystals are the hardest thing. Right, and we've got, you know, I've got plenty of those and uh, sea lanterns. We have lots of sea lanterns here. And I've got even more back at, my, at, back at the base. And then miscellaneous stuff here. Oh, <laughs> this is stuff people have dropped on the floor, on the collection floor. So yeah, so this is, you know, this works really well. And assuming I don't have to completely tear it all down, I might do something about the walls. They really, they're kind of ugly. They're really ugly. And so maybe, maybe putting something along the walls, maybe it could do some pixel art or something. I don't know. But see, when nobody else is on, I'm all alone right now. This thing just cranks. It's pretty impressive. Uh, the biggest problem is that the sorting system just cannot keep up. Plop, plop, plop. It's going. The elevator's going here. And it's it's filled. And I, I have... I, I, oops. I had to put in these little doors so I could get down here and actually look ahead and see what was coming up and see how many more of, you know, right now it's you know, it's all prismarine shards, but, you know, we've got a ton of fish and other stuff. And, uh, and a lot of that's just going to get dumped into lava right up here. I've got a lava lake here, and I've got a lot of it just dumping into lava whenever it overflows too much. So I can, there's nothing in here at the moment, but it just spits it out into lava. So this works. Inside of this isn't super pretty either. I have an electric escape hatch so I can fly out of here without going all the way along the the rail line, but there we go. Guardian farm. So the next couple things I also have to take a big long rail ride onto is uh, out here in the end. Out here over nothing. In the ring between the main island and the the outer islands I built a couple things one is Enderman farm that there see Enderman oh no and they're running at me they're actually running at an Endermite down here named Clicky he's a little hard to see right he's in that minecart right there and the Endermen really don't like him so they want to kill him so they come and they run and they think they can walk where they can't walk and they fall down here. Which is not far enough to kill them, but just far enough to hurt them real bad. Because then I can come here and punch them. Punch, 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 and they die. So this was uh, largely intended as an ender pearl farm. Uh, but it also works reasonably well as a as an XP farm. You just have to manage things a little bit, and with the sweeping edge attack on the sword, it works really well. You let them build up in there a bit and whack all mess them at once. And all of their stuff, Ender pearls and Enderman heads, because we installed the mob heads, the more mob heads, uh, sort of extension onto here. All the stuff gets tossed into here with be thanks to a shulker box loader that I have here. Very good. Those are empty shulker boxes in there. They fill up and then they get ejected into here. And I have a little bit, so there's one Enderman head in there at the moment. And this is the other thing. This is a little cheaty because I had to I had to go into creative mode in order to build this, but hey, um it's a shulker. Uh, shulker uh, farm So I have I created a little shulker spawner out there. That's the part I had to go into creative for and 
give them a, a little spawner. They spawn in there. They don't. They can spawn on top of these uh, end rods, but they don't like it, especially. So they they uh, teleport into here. They like this space much better. This is the only spot around where they can teleport. Hello, and then you uh, smash them like that. Pow! And they drop their uh, shulker shells. Very helpful for building shulker box loaders. <laughs> and although you can get shulker shells from around other spots in the end, it's really not it's really not geared towards uh, multiplayer servers. It's not balanced particularly well for that. So uh, you run out of end cities pretty quickly. And since shulkers do not respawn anywhere, they they become a limited thing. And although in theory you could just travel farther and farther and get more, get find more of them, it's kind of a pain. So I built this out here. Everyone has the choice whether they want to come and get shulker shells in the cheaty way like this. Ow. Or if they want to uh, go and find them organically out in the end uh, but everyone pretty much comes here because they're extremely useful and they're difficult to come by so there you go so that's the stuff on the end the rest of everything is in the desert so the biggest thing i built this year i think the biggest thing i've ever built in minecraft has been a scale replica of the great pyramid of giza or pyramid of khufu uh, it's so big that I have trouble even getting it all in view at once. Combination of view distance on the server and just field of view. I could probably zoom way out, but that kind of misses the point. So this is uh, this is it here. Obviously, I'm in my camera account here, but this... Come on, you can load. Load, 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 load. But this is this is an absolutely monstrous building. Made entirely out of sandstone and sandstone stairs. And then on the inside, of course, I've got rooms and stuff, which we'll go take a look at in a moment. But I wanted to get a good view of the pyramid from out here. Oh, there we go. That's kind of a cool shot. Get over here a little bit. There we go. Great Pyramid of Khufu. So last but not least, on the inside of the pyramid, I've been building stuff in here like crazy. I've got a couple big holes, but I've started getting into building uh, single chunk farms, which have an interesting sort of uh, challenge to them. This is a sugarcane farm. And in all these, I'm using shulker box loaders to load up shulker boxes to make this stuff easier to carry away. This is a squid farm. So I've got a bunch of ink sacks. And this is a cactus farm. This is soon to be whole because I'm pretty sure this is a slime chunk. So I want to build a single chunk slime farm. Although I have plenty of slime. Uh, slime balls from the other farm that I have. Oh, interesting. Okay. Sometimes these, the... Uh, Cactus farm gets backed up a little bit because it also squ spawns squids, which is an inconvenient little side effect that I probably should have figured out ahead of time and built a sorter and turned it into a dual purpose farm. Although it doesn't do that many squid, not nearly as many as the actual squid farm over there does. And then of course, here's my big wool farm. Still a little bit of a work in progress, but you go through and shear all the sheep and it spits up their wool up here and you end up with wool of different colors. And I have a rail here that goes down and around that in theory you can ride down and shear the sheep as you go. It's a little bit framey, a little bit laggy over here. Um, probably because I've got all these observer clocks going and the sheep and all that good stuff. So I don't know. I may have to do some tweaks on this, but that's it. And of course the inside of the pyramid here that looks weird why does that look weird and it's weird on both sides so it's at least symmetrically weird then of course the inside of the pyramid which i have a whole video showing off the inside of but um it is as close as i know 
to the actual inside of the pyramid. So originally, the uh, they built what was probably meant to be the burial chamber down below the floor of the pyramid. So this is, we're underground here. And this is an appropriate distance underground. I made the this hallway intentionally just tall enough to walk through, but you can't really run through it or anything. And this is an unfinished room. They dug it out and then they stopped. And then up here, there's not a flower in Egypt, but then they think that maybe the queen's chamber was going to go back here, that both burial chambers were going to be underneath the pyramid because that's the way all the other pyramids are laid out. Um, the, the Great Pyramid, however, is a little different in that it has chambers inside the pyramid itself. So if we go back up here, so this is ground floor here, hence all the stuff in the floor of the pyramid, which of course in the real thing, there's nothing there. It's all, uh, <laughs> it's all, you know, solid, solid sandstone or solid uh, limestone or marble or whatever, whatever it's made out of. Uh, but, and then up here, that big, big chamber up there is the, uh, the, the grand, uh, grand, oh, I can't remember what it's called. Um, the, the, the words right on the tip of my tongue. Anyway, it's. They're not quite sure what it was for. They think it was just an artifact of having built it out and storing rocks that would use to cover these various chambers. Uh, this is the Queen's Chamber. And I have built here the muon detector that they used to determine that there's actually another chamber inside the pyramid. They believe it is above this, this chamber here. They think it's up here and they think it might be as big as this but just up above. They're just not sure. And without digging into the pyramid, which they're not going to do, they would have no way of knowing for sure. And then here, these are the rocks that, uh, this is the little space where the rocks that they lowered down to block the chamber after burying the king. This is the king's chamber. And I used this granite because he was, his chamber and sarcophagus is all rose granite. So this actually fits quite nicely. So... That's the inside of the Great Pyramid. And if they ever figure out exactly what that chamber above here looks like, this is the gallery, the Grand Gallery is what they call it. Uh, I, will, I will build that too. But for right now, this is the extent of what they know and I built it as faithfully as I can based on my uh, research and, you know, basically the way everything is blocked up in Minecraft. And of course, up here is the exit. So this is the entrance the original entrance to the pyramid, which they sealed up. The robbers built an entrance down below because it was easier for them to get to. Oh, it sticks out so much The the doctor has been here too. Uh, so this is, so this is the original entrance. So I left that open, but there you go. I hope everyone has had a, had a great uh, Christmas or Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, whatever. Um, great holidays. Spent time hopefully with family and friends and at least had a chance to rest. And, uh, and a happy new year. I hope 2018 is, is wonderful and healthy for everyone. And this video probably won't, I probably won't release this until after the new year. So, um, I, I hopefully everyone has a good one and stay safe. But that's it. I think those are pretty much all the things that I built in 2017 on the server here. Um, there have been some other things. Barb, Barb, whoa, that was interesting. I must have gotten flying underneath. Oh, let's look. No, I'm standing. Oh, that's weird. Huh, interesting. Okay. All right. That's it. I'm just mucking around now. Thank you for watching. This is Theron's Minecraft Land Party, and we will see you in 2018. Okay, postscript. There was one more thing that I meant to do at some point towards the end of the year, and never got around to doing, and that was to eat this golden apple, this enchanted golden apple. Uh... 
I am still missing one thing here on, where is it? Balance dot, 34, 35. Eat everything that is edible, even if it's not good for you. Pretty sure I've accomplished everything except for the notch apple. So, standing up here on top of the pyramid seems like a reasonable place to do this. Let's see if we can get the advancement. Ready? Three, two, one. <gasps> Challenge complete, a balanced diet. Yay! All right. So if we look at that, balance out, 35, 35. Very good. Breed all the animals. What am I missing there? Probably rabbits. Okay, that's it. Thank you. That was a very triumphant end to 2017. And hopefully 2018 will be all the better. And I will see you later. All right, bye.